All right, guys, it's me, Justin, AK Goodwill Hunter, and I'm in Belgium. And uh, I happen to find that they do have like a GameStop of sorts. It's called Game Mania, and they buy, sell, uh, used, not retro, retro, but up until 3DS, I think maybe PS2. Who knows? Uh, I'm going to see if I can't find some exclusive European games. Probably won't find any. I don't think uh, anything outside of the PAL. Uh, I'm guessing that's still relevant here, the PAL format. Uh, I don't know if any other parts of Europe use a different part, but I don't think they do. I think uh, NTSC, North America, PAL, Europe, and uh, Japan, I think NTSCJ. So let's see what we can find. I'll get some footage while I'm in there, and uh, hey, who knows what we're going to find, but uh, let's head on in. How's it going everybody? It's me, Justin, aka Good Hunter, and I am back still in Belgium. Uh, I'm in the town of Kortrijk, or and it's about an hour away from Brussels. So when you fly in, you fly into Brussels, and then it's an hour uh, trip into Kortrijk. So as you saw in the last video, we didn't find anything in Game Mania. There was nothing there. Uh, I went there specifically for a Vita charging cable, but they didn't have any because Sony's discontinuing everything like that. So I checked around the store for any exclusives to PAL regions and uh, there just wasn't anything you can't find uh, in North America or uh, anywhere else in your region for that matter. Especially on PS4 and everything else is region free. So it doesn't really make sense. Uh, and then the prices are 10 to 12 euro difference uh, for stuff that would be a dollar to two dollars in North America. They want uh, you know, 12, 13 euro for it here. So. Yeah, not paying that. But I went into Brussels today and they have a, uh, a game store. So if you're ever in Europe and you're ever in Brussels, uh, it's called All Old Star Games. Um, they're located in the center. Uh, and um, it's kind of weird because on the weekends they close off the center. So you really have to uh, kind of park in a parking garage and then kind of walk your way to the main uh, thoroughfare. And uh, from there, it had an excellent selection. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the stuff they had, uh, I guess they had just gotten back from a uh, convention. So a lot of stuff either wasn't priced or just wasn't available uh, because it was still in bins. But uh, if you know anything about Europe, you know that they got a lot more uh, Master System stuff uh, that we just didn't get or um, it was kind of like instead of a Nintendo, they definitely loved them some Sega. So they had a huge row and I went through and I tried to pick out some stuff that um, I either knew just was not um, common or just never came out in North America. So I think I did pretty good. I think one of these actually did come out in North America, but I think it's actually quite expensive for some reason. But um, yeah, so I got three, uh, three Sega Master System, three, Mag three Sega Master System games and a Nintendo game. It's a PAL Nintendo game, but it also came out in North America. So the first game I got, I actually have this on the PC Engine Super CD. Uh, it is called Shadow of the Beast. Can you see that? Check out that artwork. It's pretty badass. Focus. 
and uh, flip it over in the back. Uh, it's uh, like a side scroller. And um, typical fashion. Um, this was twelve. No, twelve dollar, twelve euros and fifty cents. Uh, it is complete. Um, comes with a manual, which is all weird. You know, it's all kind of blue and white. And then, yeah. Focus. There you go. Shadow of the Beast. It's blue. So instead of red, they had you know obviously different colors. Um, and from what I remember, it's it's kind of a hard game. Um, it's definitely not uh, anything easy. Uh, but again, I saw this, and I'm pretty sure we did not get this on the Master System in uh, at least North America. Um, only in like PAL regions and anywhere else in Europe. I think Japan got one. I think they got it, actually, uh, I think we got it on the Mega Drive Genesis, just not on the Master System. Uh, this is the one I think, I don't know if it came out in North America or not, but it's called the Cyber Shinobi. And uh, I'm not really sure what it's all about, but it looked, uh, from screenshots, it kind of looked like it uh, could be Shinobi. This one was... 14, about 15 euro. And it is complete manual and uh, Cyber Shinobi. A better look at that. Focus. So, really nice condition. But again, I think we actually got this, uh, or at least in other PAL regions. Even had a little Sega sticker. We'll stick that right on the front. <laughs> the last Master System game I picked up, um, I have this on the Genesis uh, Mega Drive, but I don't think it ever came out in North America on the Master System, and uh, it is a Shinobi game, and it's actually the, the one I like the most, uh, and that is Shadow Dancer on the Master System. So again, I don't think this ever came out in North America. Uh, I think it only came out Master System 2 and the Mega Drive slash Genesis with Master System Power Base Converter. So, but again, I could be wrong. Came with the manual and there's the game. So yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If you've never played uh, Shadow Dancer, it's fun. Uh, it's definitely a, a fun port. Uh, I like it a lot better than a regular Shinobi. So, had to pick that up. Uh, that one was... Actually, that one was only... They were running a special. It was, I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't see this, but they're actually running a special uh, right here. Um, one game was 12.50 euro, but if you bought two that were 12.50, you got them for 20 euro. So I got that and what else? And these two for 20 euro. So I would thought it was a pretty good deal. Um, it's about 89 cents to one euro, United States. So you're obviously losing a little bit, um, but not by, by not by much. And the last thing I got was a PAL Nintendo game. It's actually a PAL B variant of a North American game that, uh, you know, the, the label's a little bit weird, but uh, yeah, it's, I got me a copy of Power Blade. Uh, and you can see it's got the big black border. It even says B on it. Um, but I got this for, probably can't read that, it was only 11.50 euro. So for about 12 euro, I got me a copy of Power Blade. Um, I don't have this, and again, it's a European game. But I think Power Blade North American goes for a little bit more money, obviously. Uh, but I know Power Blade 2 does. So those are all the pickups that I got. Uh, and we'll actually do a little video while I was there. Unfortunately, my camera filled up on my phone. So unfortunately, that's all you're going to get. But uh, yeah, hopefully uh, it's something worth watching. If you liked the video at the end, just hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. And... Suck a fat dick.
I'll be back uh, next week, so hopefully maybe on a Friday, because I'm taking Friday off. Um, we can have a nice little out thrifting with me uh, as I'm jet lagged as fuck, I'm sure. As always, guys, this is Goodwill Hunter saying, keep up the thrift, and I'll thrift with you later.
Okay, so today's episode is a little bit off topic. It's about building the kitty rocket tower. Now, I love cats, maybe not as much as this girl. I really love cats. Or as much as Sheldon Cooper. Cats make wonderful companions. Now right now we have three cats. This is Noid, 